Hi and welcome back to another video with Frimlin. And actually it's just after my last episode. Uh, what we didn't realise at the time was that Wendy was going to work. And there she is, she's in her work, work uniform. She off, off has popped to work. Uh, Maxime has finished his homework. Let's turn those walls off again. He's finished his homework, good boy. So it's time for Dad to encourage his behavior, encourage doing the homework. And that is possible through the Parenthood Game Packet. If you don't know already, you can kind of influence the behavior of kids. And uh, these give you bonuses that you can later on, the, the child can later on use in life. Um, there are Parenthood stuff that, that has popped up in the careers, I've noticed. Um, I've got no idea why Wendy, not Wendy, Ruby put this wrench here in the kids' bedroom, <laughs> but she did. I guess it's because in this build I didn't leave very many surfaces uh, free. Uh, and let me have a little look. Oh no, look, she's still making the wrench. No, she's making another one. But there's no surfaces around here apart from the bar. And I'm not sure why she wouldn't put it on the bar. But so where's the nearest surface? Well I know there's not one out here. So she would have come downstairs. And she put could have probably put it there or there. Nothing in here. So this was one of the only options. So this is why I'm so um I so require so many surfaces in uh, a build and this is a, a reason why I'm probably going to leave this house because one of the reasons why because there's a number of things that I don't like about it um, and I, mean, I like the visual look of the house I like the idea of the well in the middle in case you don't know what I'm talking about there's a well in the middle and the house is kind of like a ring all the way around this well it has a pool inside it and uh, this is different from the one in the gallery they, they brought their own plants and plus uh, Ruby is learning gardening so I expanded the garden area but generally the place is quite constricted and the rooms I mean they look fine but there isn't really much space in them and one thing they do in this place which is something I detest is sometimes say they're on the corner here and they want to have a chat well they look the sims look to see where the nearest place is that's big enough to have this kind of chat or this kind of interaction and they look around and the first place they find is down here on the ground outside and so my sims will sometimes walk out the building completely, go run around on the ground down there, all the way around the building, and then go over here, do their interaction, and then return back up into the house, which is, whoa, is that annoying or what? So, hey, I'm really sorry I left the house so cramped like that. And uh, usually I avoid that kind of thing, but I was being, I don't know, I was... I wasn't building like I usually build in this house and the, there was a number of things like for example there isn't very much space in here I mean, luckily there is enough space to prepare food but I like having a bit of counter space where you can leave food to be eaten later so there's always food ready for the sims that don't cook themselves and uh, so there isn't really much space in here that's one thing I'd like to fix. And also, I've got all the packs. And I could have an ice cream maker. I could have XYZ things in this kitchen. But I can't in this kitchen because there just isn't enough space. And there are other problems like that. Like, a, I like having a, a smaller table in here in the dining room where they can get their food from if they can't get it from the kitchen. But instead, I had to actually place it on the main table, which I think looks a bit messy. Um, what else? Loved the bathroom in here, and I'm going to do a bathroom like this again. Actually, worked out really well. 
it's perfect privacy bathroom and if you've got you know this, this can handle two or three kids in the morning or two or three sims of any age because you can send two to the toilets one goes to the shower uh, so the, by the time they finish the toilets and the shower they can swap over so that then that one goes to the, the toilet so you know you don't need to have loads of different bathrooms as long as you have a couple of bathrooms that are just well thought out in terms of what kind of uh, throughput <laughs> cleaning throughput they can they can manage um, I don't know why the efficiency of cleaning the sims is matters to me but it does um, I think it's because you know if you're running a family of sims in the morning just before they go off to work or to school the, uh, things like breakfast and cleaning yourself is suddenly very popular for all your sims so you have to really have the furniture in place the rooms in place to be able to cope with that surge of demand even if for the rest of the day you don't really use it um, so that's something I think is quite important and anyway so what are we doing now so she's just making stuff talk about a let doing a let's play and actually it's a let's talk instead just talk about random sims related stuff <laughs> Well, hopefully you won't find it too boring. Um, but yeah, so she's been making drinks, and that's fine and dandy. But she is she has a visitor. Where is he? Let's unpause. Can't really play The Sims if you pause. Look, he's just sitting there, and plus he's left stuff on the ground. This is not good. Right, first of all, Maxime, clean up. Where's he gone? Where is she going with that? No, she's just having it for herself. I thought she was maybe going to make it for him. So she's going to go and tell him a dramatic story. But I think... Oh look, here, we, here she goes. Where's the nearest surface for her to drop it on? It's probably in her room. Yes it is. The dude... Drink the dam. Drink the dam. There you go. I think dam is a safe word to use on uh, uh, Let's Play, but tell me if you disagree. Uh, I usually use words that are more expressive than that, but uh, I think I can get away with dam. I just, I mean, I don't, I don't want to make my channel like kid friendly or something, but I don't want to be rude or. You know, make someone feel unwelcome. Maybe people don't like swearing. And I don't swear a lot anyway. But yeah, I don't want it to be too bad. Oh, he's already leaving? This is what happens with these visitors. Uh, I bet you he's not going to leave. I mean, it says he's leaving. While we're at it, that drink looks really yummy. <laughs> He's gone. That's, so this is like a city living style uh, visitor. He was here for to get some food and now he's gone. Anyway, she needs to do some gardening. So actually, let's switch her aspiration over to gardening. And she has to evolve some plants. So I've got them set up here. She just needs to water these first. Uh, but there's one, the original needs to be evolved. You can do that once she's finished her drink. Uh, what else? So now, Wendy is already, I think, max in her career. Yep. And she's had some promotions. So I think I'm going to make her socialize with her co workers because I think there's some new co workers. And it'd be good for her to uh, you know, make friends with them. Right, and Timothy, what's he doing? Oh, what's this? So this, I believe, is one of the new parenthood work-related options that comes up. And this is because I gave Wendy a couple of the traits that you get from uh, uh, gaining a high character value. That's because I thought that suited her personality. I think she's got, for example, um, 
the polite trait because she's just a nice polite sim and so because she's got that trait I think that unlocks some of these parenthood work related uh, opportunities or questions that pop up so she has about 30 minutes free time at work at lunch sorry uh, how should she spend it should she go to the gym or should she read blogs for career advice well I think in terms of work performance she should be reading blogs for career advice but she's already maximum in her career uh, this is probably probably the right uh, in speech marks uh, answer she's actually quite fit so she doesn't need to go to the gym no, I'm gonna go for this one because I think that's probably the sensible option uh, she got a, a performance gain and as you can see from this little icon, it's related to the parenthood game pack. I mean, this is something Sims is good at, is that it, it makes you aware of what stuff came from which pack. Um, so yeah, so she, this would have helped if she wasn't already high up in her career. And so another reason why I like parenthood game pack, I mean, just one of the best game packs I've got to say. Um, in terms of what new stuff came along so how's it going with the plants Ruby going well I've got a few of these splice plants these were made by her dad she hasn't got high enough gardening skill yet um, and uh, basically I've tried to mix a number of plants of similar types so for example I've got tomatoes, garlic and basil. I just like that combination. Uh, I do a lot of cooking for myself and tomato, garlic and basil, definitely good combination. And <laughs> then this is uh, onions, sage and potatoes. Could also be quite nice. I do cook with onions a lot. And then this one is carrots and spinach and parsley. So I've got like two veggies and a herb in each spice plant spliced plant and another thing i was looking for with the plants was to have different uh what do you call it graphics for each plant uh, because i could have spliced them all onto the same type of plant like this but then they wouldn't have looked as visually interesting so these were all three different colored and shaped plants um here's another splice plant on another shaped plant as well but this is all fruit blackberry grapes and strawberry all on one plant which is very handy to have and basically means you don't have to have as many pots in your garden it doesn't take as long to keep them uh, fertilized and well fed so what else we've we got in the garden we've got another perfect spice plant and another one over here well this one will be one I think uh, but then this one I've put a lot of the bad herbs that came I don't know what the what the actual name is I'm calling them bad herbs because they're herbs and they're bad but they're from uh, outdoor retreat uh, which brought along these herbs good and bad herbs that could be used in various concoctions um, they're not quite like normal potions like uh, in Su Sims 3 Supernatural or similar to that but they're similar and uh, so yeah I've been growing those because Timothy has got some skill in herbalism have a look yeah it's only four and he got that while they were at holiday over Christmas because I changed my entire um, Granite Springs is it called the world that came with outdoor retreat I, I changed it all <laughs> and placed down my Tudor buildings that I made with the get together stuff pack and so all the lots in my world actually I, I could show you this very quickly all of the lots in that world are currently covered with the uh, Tudor style buildings. So yeah, Granite Falls, not Granite Springs is what I think I called it. So yeah, as you can see here, 
it doesn't look like how it does normally. It's got like this Tudor village going on. And they stayed here in the festive lodge uh, at Christmas, as in the Christmas of about seven months ago. And that's when he learned herbalism. So yeah, I just thought I'd show you that for some strange reason. <laughs> let's go back to the Let's Play. Back to Sam My Shoe now. Back into their house. So my loading time has actually gone up recently. I don't know if it's because uh, I've got quite a lot more sims than I did um, a while ago. But yeah, luckily thanks to the magic of video editing I can take out the load screens. <laughs> so what's happening here? Well it looks like uh, Maxime's grandfather Bruce has come over. And so he's gonna Maxime's gonna invite him in. It's always nice to see Grandad. And how's the gardening going? Is it still going? No, it looks like it's finished. No more plants need to be evolved yet. Okay, it looks like um, one of her cousins has popped around as well. Now that's weird. Uh, it's because I, you know, exited and came back into the the game again. It's I don't know why it does that. It's just a little annoying. I didn't go to another family, so don't know why it would let random people come in like that. Very strange. Right, she needs to go to the loo. What's Maxime up to? Not much. How about he watches a movie with his grandfather? Done. And what's Timothy up to? Nothing. He needs to get to Lou as well, but he's in no particular rush. Uh, he has to wait till Wendy comes home so he can go on a date with her for his aspiration. And we'll probably see that in the next episode. He doesn't really need to do anything in the moment. Maybe he can uh, work on his painting. I don't think he's level 10 with painting yet. Nope, he's level 8. And I think he's got some plant that he started here. Plant. <laughs> I think he's got a painting that he started here. No, I don't think so. Okay, well, scrap that one. I think it's one of Rodney's. And Rodney don't live here no more. Yeah, uh, let's do a realism painting, medium sized. What's Ruby up to? She's just walked out. Oh, she's just gone to say hello to her aunt on the street, as you do. I mean, this is another reason I'm getting annoyed with this apartment. She, I don't think in normal standalone houses, they don't usually just walk off the, off the house to say hello to someone out on the street. I mean, I like that she's saying hi to her aunt. Don't get me wrong. But... I just think that's a bit weird in terms of behaviour. I don't know if it's classified as a bug. Or if it was a feature of city living. But uh, it just really annoys me that she would just do that. Anyway, now she can return back to the house. And I think we're about time to end it and start another episode. So I will see you in the next episode and thank you so much for watching. I hope you'll leave a comment down below and I hope, I hope if you're not, if you are not already subscribed <laughs> that you'll please consider subscribing because I like subscribers very much and I know lots of you by name. So see you next video. Bye.